Thistle old boy Jerry Britton was in the thick of the action almost from the whistle, but he came off worse in this collision with his ex-teammate Craig Nelson. And then the dreaded pass-back strikes again. Greg Watson forcing a one-handed save from his keeper. Indirect free kick, just eight yards out. But the Jags barricade stood firm, panic over for the Maryhill men. Minutes later, Ameli at the other end. A spectacular clearance by Noel Blake. Albert Craig there finding Roddy Grant, but he was unable to find the way to go. Danger cleared. But the first half really belonged to Dundee. Their best effort to date, created by Gary McKeown's cross, Jerry Britton's header off the post. Hard to believe this team are doomed to first division football. They gave Thistle the runaround. Nelson there denying Mike Teasdale. You would have thought it was the visitors who needed premier points, the best the Jags could muster, this snapshot from Albert Craig. The Jags looked much sharper after the interval, Charnley and Craig taking the game by the scruff of the neck. A good run here by Albert Craig, looking up and seeing Roddy Grant. But he was offside. Thistle on the attack again. Ian Cameron forward to Craig, heading it down for Isaac English, but he's off target. Next up, a real goal-mouth scramble. Charnley's corner producing no fewer than five Thistle attempts on goal. Cameron, no luck. Same for Isaac English. Craig lurking, Charnley playing it forward. Ian Cameron inside the box. And Albert Craig off the underside of the bar, but the referee said no goal. And then in 69 minutes, Chick Charnley gaining ground and leaving players in his wake. Then a delightful chip to Albert Craig, who lashes the ball past Michel Pago. 1-0 to Thistle is how it finished. A great result for the Jags.